Welcome to the WNY VAD 13 podcast, starring your host, Aaron Coniglio. And in this episode, all sorts of stupid shit. Remember, the views and opinions expressed in this podcast are that of those of the individual stating that topic, view, or opinion. And with that, I give you Aaron! Hello, hello. It's no real easy way to start this off, but I'm going to hit you with um, a little bit of news. It's always sh- I'm getting the shitty news out of the way. Welcome to the world shit news. Unfortunately, as you know, we live on a place called Earth. And on this Earth, shitty things happen on a daily basis. Things that are out of our control here at the WNY VAD 13 podcast. But we would like to share our sympathy and maybe a moment to speak with you about whatever nonsense is happening. This is the World Shit News. So the, um, the original voice actor for Charlie Brown... Uh, he killed himself. Uh, I'm looking. I'm trying. A 65. Pete Robbins. Robbins. Pete Robbins dies. Original Charlie Brown voice actor Pete Robbins dead at 65. He had. Uh, he had some problems and he killed himself. So fucking. Good grief. That was that. So that was that. Terrible. Welcome to the World Shit News. Unfortunately, as you know, we live on a place called Earth. And on this Earth, shitty things happen on a daily basis. Things that are out of our control here at the WNY VAD 13 podcast. But we would like to share our sympathy and maybe a moment to speak with you about whatever nonsense is happening. This is the World Shit News. I think I'll make a new... I'm going to make a new thing, keep it separate, and I'll do whoever dies first. Just to get it out of the way. Not trying to be disrespectful. Mad mad Charlie Brown going down in this household. (coughs) So, thank you for your service on Earth. You will be missed. So, yeah, that was world shit news. Um, It's never going to get better that's not going to be a good thing world shit news is always going to be bad but this episode i am by myself again uh i am aaron from wny vad 13 and if you are following the real real fake contest on the wny vad 13 web poll just uh, write down your answer on any sized index card and send it to the P.O. box on the screen. And you will be eligible to win all sorts of fucking cool merch, brah. Get that merch. But um, yeah, that's it. In this episode, I just kind of strung some things together last minute just to get something going. Um, I don't know. I don't know if you you care. But this is pre-recorded. This isn't fucking live. So like I pre-record this a couple days, maybe a week before, and then that way I could do other things during the week. But this episode, I kind of strung things together last minute because it just fell into place so well. Uh, I had gotten a package from, from a friend of the channel, and um, he sent me a tape. So this, this is what I taped is actually what I got. This is what I taped. Channel 2, taped it. What? Yo, Channel 11, I taped it. Channel 13, yo, I taped it. Because this is what I taped. Yeah, so this segment's not restricted to like what I personally tape on television. It's any taped on television um, tape I get in the mail, maybe from a friend or whatever. But this week, I got 
the last movie of the original trilogy, and I needed it. I needed it bad. This is from the Empire. This is the Empire Strikes Back, and I had gotten it from a friend on Instagram, Power Dad Five Thousand. Shout out to you! Thank you for uh, completing the the trilogy. It's pretty badass. BC, be a part of the 15th anniversary celebration as Star Wars Weekend begins. So I had gotten the Return of the Jedi, the original broadcast, and uh, from Marijuana VHS Kid, and I was super pumped on that. And then I got the, I got a New Hope on a trade online. Uh, I got the MP4 and I recorded the MP4 on the VHS because of OCD. And then um, I finally, I wasn't even putting feelers out. He had posted that he had. Uh, came across it in in a stack of stuff that he had for a while so i was pretty stoked i had, i had reached out and i was like hey man you mind uh you mind throwing me throwing me a bone and he said no i'll fucking i'll fucking bone you and i was like sweet uh that last part didn't happen but but that's what i have on tape that's what i got taped this is what I taped. Channel 2 taped it. What? Yo, channel 11, I taped it. Channel 13, yo, I taped it. Because this is what I taped. That brings me to 1999. May of 99 was a big thing for me. That was a big year. Uh, that's when Star Wars Episode One came out. My family's big on Star Wars. I had gotten um, Pod Racer for that December, but someone had Pod Racer earlier in the year, like when it came out. But I had gotten me and my brother, my brother and I had gotten uh, the Pod Racer special Nintendo sixty four uh, bundle for one Christmas, and that was fucking awesome. That was a really rad, rad present. But Pod Racer. Pod Racers was fucking awesome. And when it came out, I remember my nephew DJ was like, <laughs> he was better than everyone. I was fucking 13 ish. I think I was 14, maybe. I think 1999. I remember I was in eighth grade and Pod Racer was the fucking shit. We played it all the fucking time. It was fucking sweet. Um, and I got to get that shit. I really do. But here's a, here's a little clip. Here's a clip from uh, E.T. That's entertainment tonight. Yeah. Kids of the 90s are good with any kind of game. And they were. <laughs> there we go. Full speed ahead, buddy. Oh, jeez Louise. Jake Lloyd will get no argument from our Tony Potts. The 10-year-old star of The Phantom Menace challenged Tony to a head-to-head -head contest talking, he in the new shit. Nintendo Star Wars Episode One racer game. Based on Jake's thrilling pod race scene in the film, Jake says the game might even be better. Well, in the film, I didn't actually get to, my pod racer didn't move. What, what's that? This yeah, time no I shit. get to even, I get to race it. So it's pretty fun. It's like a, that was almost like an I, I Love Turtles situation. Where are you? I'm laughing you. You're laughing I just me. laughed. <laughs> it's always talking shit. Good job, Anakin. Big oh head. My gosh. I'm in second place. I haven't used the brakes once. Is that that a bad fucking, thing? He said I'm in second place. You're playing a two-player game. And so I'm yes, done. yes you are. Oh no, you won? Yeah. And I'm done. And I'm done. <laughs> and I'm done. Done. Oh no, you won? Yeah. I'll just sit back and watch you. Oh, win. you won? Congratulations. Good job, man. No All right. He's tough. All right. <laughs> it's tough trying to beat a kid. Well, yeah, it is. It's tough trying to beat beat a kid. That's very, very true. Thank you, Entertainment Tonight. That's fucking sweet. I got to get that. I got to fucking get that thing. I got to I got to get that fucking game. Yo. See that movie or show like so good that you were like, oh damn, I gotta get it. Uh, now I just want to start a new thing called like story time. 
maybe that'll be some something that'll turn into something cool but i thought this was something fun to share with you all in the in may of 99 in 8th grade i had gotten my mother's blessing to go to the movie theater and wait in line to get tickets for episode one. And it was a school day, but she wrote me a permission thing. Like, she signed it, and she said it was all good. Like, I was going to meet up with my cousin, who, oh, my older cousin who had just graduated. He was 18. He was at the Regal, and I got dropped off to him at, like, one thirty in the morning, 2 o'clock. And we were in line. We are doing our thing or whatever, and I was in middle school at the time, and uh, I just remember being fucking super stoked. I was like, oh, this is fucking rad, you know? A couple of my brothers rolled up and in and out throughout the morning, the early morning, and where our regal was, it was tucked in, and there's, like, some shopping centers, like, on the other side of it, and at the time, there was uh, KB Toy Works, and we were able to fucking, like, take turns leaving the line and, like, go around and shit. And I remember it might, it might have been like six six thirty in the morning, one of these like AM radio fucking uh, vans came in and they had like the little thing come out the top and they were doing interviews of people and they were just like, yo, you want to talk about fucking Star Wars? And I was like, yeah, fuck yeah. And I was just like, oh, you know, Jar Jar Binks is fucking going to be the shit and all this stuff. And I was going off on it on the AM fucking radio. And the dude was like, wow, wasn't ready for it. But I started popping off and uh, we were waiting. My cousin and I were like, fuck it. We're waiting in line. We're playing football, like catch or whatever, waiting for fucking KB toys to open. And uh, what I didn't know is my teachers in, in middle school were listening to the AM radio at, in the teacher's lounge. And they were like, really? Really? And I'm just popping all this shit about Star Wars and all this fucking... I'm, I'm Aaron Coniglio and I'm fucking getting Star Wars. They're like Aaron Coniglio, Star Wars fan. And my teachers are like, yo, this kid's supposed to be... In, he's, cutting, he's cutting school. He's cutting class. And they must be like fucking choking on their coffee calling the cops because all of a sudden my cousin and i were waiting in at, at the fucking uh toy store waiting for kb to open up and a cop rolls by right <laughs> and i fucking waved to them i was like hi and they drove past and they drove back they came back around and my cousin was a little is a little short was a little shorter he was he wasn't that big, so he was like matched my size, and um, they pulled the light. They put their lights on, pulled around, pulled over, and was like, "Who the? What are you guys doing? Aren't you supposed to be in school? I want to see some IDs." And I only had a school ID at the time because I was a, a fucking I was thirteen, and he had his his license. He, he convinced them that he's a fucking teenager and he doesn't he graduated already and all that stuff. And he told them about my mom told them about, you know, my aunt told them that he could do this. And I told him, I'm like, yeah, my mom, I was so confident, dude. I had a note and shit and I was showing them the paper and they were like, that's illegal. They're like, that's illegal. We're going to bring you to, we're bringing you to school. And like, my cousin's like, really? And he's like, he's like, yeah, that's fucked up. It's fucked up that you guys are doing this. You know, he was, he put that on us. He was like, yo, that's fucked up. You know, I got to bring you in. And they fucking put handcuffs on me, put me in a fucking cop car. And they started driving past like my cousin. And I'm just looking at him like, and they're like, where do you go to school? And I'm like, Kenmore middle. And they're like, where is that? And I'm like, I, I don't know. And they're like, you don't know where you, you don't know where you go to school. And I'm like, no, I don't. I don't. I didn't know. I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. It's across from the library. I kept saying. They were like, that doesn't make any sense. And this is like in 99, so like, I don't know. I don't know. They could have just, I don't know. They could have just put it in the thing. They figured it out eventually, and they brought me to school. And I fucking sat, and this was 8 o'clock in the morning I'm at school by this time. 
I'm sitting in in fucking handcuffs in the middle school in a back room and I fucking sat there for the whole fucking day. So that's eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three. I sat there fucking I sat there for fucking seven or eight hours. Because then I had to keep waiting for my mom to come. And they fucking came and uh I remember she was like, what the fuck? I fucking told them he could. And they were like, well, that's illegal, ma'am. That's illegal. And they were like, she's like, what the fuck? What the fuck? She was like, fucking Aaron, fuck. What the fuck? And I was like, I don't know. What the fuck? And they were like, well, we're going to suspend him. They're going to suspend me. Okay. Okay. So they fucking suspended me for a fucking week, man. A week leading up to Star Wars Episode fucking one coming out. Are you kidding me right now? Dude, I had... Pod Racer had just come out. I'm waiting. I, we're like third in line. And by this time, by the end of the time I got out of it, when they were selling the tickets, there was uh, hundreds of people lined up around, wrapped around the fucking uh, the theater, dude. So my cousin got the tickets. We got the tickets. So we got the tickets. I get to go see Star Wars. And for a, a one week leading up to Star Wars, I get to play Pod Racer all fucking day. All day. They were like, that was the greatest fucking thing that they could have done for me. So I need to get that fucking game. I want that fucking game again. I think I have that game. I think I might have that game. and I don't even know it. Well, that's fucking sweet. Well, if I had a fucking outro for like, these little talks, these little stories, it would be like, it'd be like story time, story time, story time. I don't know. It, all right. Well, that was episode three. That's all I have. Um, and if you like, share, and subscribe, I will do longer, better, more efficient videos. Or maybe I won't. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't fucking matter. And if it did, would you fucking care? Would you care if it mattered? I don't... I wouldn't blame you. Why? Why would you? Thank you. Give us a try, now hit subscribe. Be sure to YouTube responsibly and hit that like button if you like what you see, because there's plenty of content to come.